How's it going YouTube? We are back. This time we are back with another list. Um, I kind of got lost in the sauce and forgot how um, to make YouTube videos for a, a bit when it came to uh, mixing in the different sports. So we're back with the top 10 position players in the MLB. We are with the first baseman. Um, if you guys don't know how these work, you can guys can go back and check my previous videos. Um, what I do here is I take a list from the MLB um, for a top position and then I rearrange it into my order. Uh, this is first baseman. At 10, they have Carlos Santana, 9, Reese Hoskins, 8, Matt Olson, 7, Pete Alonzo, 6, Anthony Rizzo, 5, Muncy, 4, Abreu, 3, Voigt, 2, Goldschmidt, and 1, Freddie Freeman. Um, first thing I'm going to do with this list, I'm going to put Reese Hoskins at 10. Not that I don't like Reese Hoskins. I think Reese Hoskins is a really good um, power-hitting first baseman. Um, for the record, if your guy on your team moves up in the list, um, doesn't mean I don't like them. Uh, this is all personal opinion. There has no, um, I guess, no credible um, reasoning behind it. Uh, this is all what I, based on what I see. I've been watching baseball for a long time, and um, this all go based off of my vision of the game. Um, so I put Reese Hoskins at 10, and then I am probably going to put... Carlos Santana here. Santana's another guy that I like. Um, switch hitter, good power. Um, good behind the plate, not a good arm behind the plate, <laughs> which is why they probably moved him to first base. But um, a lot of respect for Carlos Santana. He really was um, a bright spot on the Indians team last year. Now he's a Royal, I believe, um, which will be fun. The Royals should be an interesting team to watch. And now down to number eight. I am going to, uh, this might hurt a lot of my fellow Dodger fans, but Max Muncy. As you can see, I try to operate with as little bias as possible. Um, last year, Max Muncy had a struggle, um, hard time at the plate for sure. Walked a lot, didn't hit for a very good average. Um, was in the fourth spot in the playoffs for God knows why, walking. Um, had some big hits though, for sure. And he was a big portion of the reason why we won the World Series. So Max Muncy back to eight does hurt my heart a little bit, but you know what? No, I do my best to do this without bias. And uh, he definitely doesn't crack the top five as he would in the MLB list. Um, number six, or number seven. Uh, 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 number seven, number seven. I'm gonna put Matt Olson. Another guy with immense power. Um, he really does have a crazy ability to hit the ball a mile, especially off of right-handed pitching. Um, he did a little bit better against lefties this recent year. Uh, still a struggle though. Great glove, amazing defensively. Um, so he earns himself the number seven spot. Number six, number six. Um, I apologize to the Yankee fans. Luke Voigt. Not quite a top three third baseman, or first baseman yet. Great year. Great season, 100% remarkable season. Um, he hit the ball better than probably most people on that team did, but I just don't, I need to see it repetitively. I can't um, go and say, oh, he's a top three first baseman in the league if he's only doing it for one season. So uh, I drop him down to six, and then um, Anthony Rizzo goes to five. Oh, that's a bad Z. Um, I love Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> what can I say? Good dude, good ball player on a bad team, really. Maybe not a bad team, but on a team that um, looks like it's on the decline. Um, don't like a lot of the Cubs players, but he's one of the ones that I do like. Uh, great IQ for the game. Really, just a, a good, uh, good baseball mind. I hope he, um, I hope he has a great year for sure. Number four, number four. Who am I missing here? Pete. Alonzo. I know Alonzo struggled, and I know he probably wouldn't have won Rookie of the Year uh, if Tatis was healthy, but the man can hit, and he's looked incredible in spring training. I think um, he's going to do pretty well this year on a Mets team that should be pretty exciting to watch. Um, if he can break that 50 threshold again, that'd be, um, that pretty much would solidify his role in the top five. Um, I could really go either way with these two. Um, part of me almost wants to uh, erase Pete Alonso at four, put Rizzo at five, but I'll leave it like that for right now. 
And at three, got Paul Goldschmidt. Probably one of my first favorite players back when he was with, uh, in Arizona. Um, being a Dodger fan and being on the West Coast, I get to see a lot of him. Um, a lot of uh, times where he was a thorn on the Dodgers' side, so having him move out of the NL West was a uh, blessing in disguise. Or not even in disguise, it was just a blessing. Um, another really good baseball mind, a really good defensive first baseman, and uh, his hitting. When you need him, to, when you need him most, he does decide that he uh, he's going to hit. And although his numbers may be down from what they used to be, he's not going to steal so many bases anymore. But he will be a clutch hitter for you, and he will make his plays defensively. Number two, and I don't really understand why he wasn't number two in the first place. Jose Abreu. If I would have made an all underrated list the year before he won MVP, he probably would have been number one. Constantly up for top in RBIs, constantly top top five in batting average. I just his defense is lackluster, fine. But I don't understand how he has been so underrated for so long. Um, the fact that he won MVP for me is is, is um really noteworthy. He really deserved to be in consideration and the fact that he won it. Um, brings to a, a question that um, you can't really be underrated anymore. If you win MVP, you're winning awards, you can't be underrated. So uh, this is the year for him to really solidify his uh, mark as a top uh, top first baseman. And for me, he's top two. And then where I think MLB nailed it right on the head is Freddie Freeman, which I'm assuming you guys knew because I am wearing the Braves jersey. Freddie Freeman is the best player on the Braves team. And uh, a lot of times he gets overshadowed by um, the talent that is Ronald Acuna Jr. But as of right now, Freddie Freeman is the best player on the Braves team. Um, if he continues to play the way he has played for the last 10 years or so, uh, he, can end himself, he can find himself in uh, Cooperstown as a Hall of Famer. And um, I don't have any um, regrets saying that. I don't have any doubts about that, really. I think he is probably going to be a future Hall of Famer. Uh, constant threat. He was a thorn for the Dodgers during their seven-game series. And he was one of the reasons why they uh, they put themselves within one game of making it to the World Series. Had their um, lineup not gone quiet in Game 7, they might be there. Uh, but that's going to do it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Comment what you guys think about my list. Comment what you think about MLB's list. Uh, what position you'd like to see done in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.